Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my castle. The king is here with another video. So we're gonna be reacting to PlayStation 5, everything you should know a video. So let's not waste any time, let's get it. Even though Sony's next iteration of the PlayStation console is still years away, thanks to statements from industry insiders, analysts, as well as Sony executives, we can already get an idea of what the PS5 is going to be and when it's coming out. So let us dive into it. Before we start though, let's answer a question which is quite essential when it comes to this topic. Is there even going to be a PlayStation 5? Has it been confirmed or at least hinted at by Sony? I mean, as of or right now, of there shouldn't be any entirely on rumors and rumors of making a PS5. Well, Sony used to be pretty restrained when talking PS4 about doing its so plans, well, bro. They're just dominating like this console made by the generation of man. Sony Worldwide Studios, Shuhei Yoshida. It's really up to the game creators. If they still feel that we need more machine power, there's a good reason to have and a plus, PS5. The PS4 so the developers just came out, so I don't feel like there's gonna so be any PS4. We'll I mean, PS5. That was a quote from a few years ago. However, soon, more man. recently, Sony seems to be a bit more open about its next big thing. In July of 2017, Sean Layden, the CEO of Sony Interactive Entertainment America, was asked whether there would be a PS5, to which he replied, "Yes, but it will be some time." There you have it. The PlayStation 5 has pretty much been confirmed. Yeah, obviously by there Raiden, will be a but PS5. But it shouldn't really be to anyone's surprise. Obviously there has the to be another generation of still gaming like consoles. And it's on its way to become be one of the best-selling video game so. consoles of all time. Therefore, the decision not to make a PS5 would appear to be a little strange, to say the least. Out of war, so oh yes, God, it sure bro. looks like this the PlayStation 5 is lit. going to happen. Thus, let's move on to all the specific details and information information about the system starting off with the release date I feel I feel like PS5 will release I don't like 2020 When we take a look at release dates of the previous PlayStations we can see that the average gap between the consoles years. is approximately 6 years long. Oh, yeah. Now, since the PS4 came out in November of 2013, that would put the PS5 somewhere around the fall of 2019. 2019. This is obviously just a simple prediction based on the past, but as a matter of fact, Michael Pachter, a well-known industry I analyst, also believes it is 2019. Thus, so far, it looks like the most likely release window for the PlayStation 5 is indeed fall 2019. In spite of this, you might have heard about the rumor which suggested that it would actually come out a year earlier, earlier. in 2018. Nah. Even though this information nah. I think that would be a, a bad, reliable uh, source, we'll ignore it because it seems highly I mean, unlikely so it wouldn't be bad, but I feel like why would they even do that? You know what I mean? Just the because of PlayStation PS4 4 Pro. is in fact, like PS4 said, Pro is the reason why many doing amazing, PS5 man, with all the so many good games coming out for the and PS4. And we wouldn't be too surprised if that ended up being the case. But we will stick with late 2019 as our prediction for now. Horizon looks gorgeous, man. I still have to. Yeah, I have to play so many games with the PS4. Before we proceed oh to talking God, about the actual hardware of PlayStation 5, there's something that should be addressed. We've mentioned the PS4 Pro a few times already. It was Sony's first mid-cycle upgrade and it has been quite a success for them. There's been a lot of talk going on about the end of console generations as we know them and the beginning of iPhone-like upgrade cycles. This indeed seems to be the approach Microsoft is taking with the Xbox One X. However, Sony has made it very clear that their thinking is different and that PlayStation gamers do not need to be worried about being forced to buy a new console every two years or so. That's good. That's good. That's Mark good Cerny, the architect of PlayStation consoles, said that the PS4 Pro is not intended to blur the lines between console generations and in addition Sean Layden confirmed that they are staying true to quote-unquote normal console cycles and that the smartphone style upgrade approach will not take over. This again just reconfirms that we are going to see a PS5 sooner or later. But what hardware will it rock?
By 2019, 4K TVs will certainly Oh yeah, 4K TVs will be hot Hence, by that PS5 year. will naturally support games in native 4K. As a matter of fact, the Xbox One X already supports native 4K and so does the PS4 Pro to some extent. For those reasons, 4K gaming on PS5 is simply a given. But what else do we know about the guts of PlayStation 5? Well, just like the current lineup of PlayStation consoles, hey, what it's likely to game, feature man? a chipset by AMD. In fact, AMD this has game already been came out, or to still be working on a chipset for PlayStation 5, which is reportedly 5 times more powerful than the Jaguar APU that can be found in the PlayStation 4. Additionally, it's set to support backwards compatibility with PS4 and PS4 Pro software, and it is supposedly focused on virtual reality as well. On top of the AMD APU, the PlayStation 5 will rock 16 or 32 gigabytes of RAM and a hard drive or hopefully an SSD drive. What about an optical drive though? Will a 4K Blu-ray drive Son, also be Son, was that a game or a freaking well, movie? With digital sales that jump was so realistic. And the usability of streaming services like PS Now increasing, it is questionable. Nonetheless, we believe that an optical drive of some Yo, sort will stick around for so one more generation man. due to backwards compatibility with the PS4, as well as the fact that Sony made such a huge emphasis on the traditional methods of sharing physical games when revealing the PlayStation 4. This is how you share your games on PS4. <laughs> Step on. Sharing the game. Thanks. Damn, that was like a shot. I remember that was like a shot at uh, Microsoft, man. Something savage. If we don't Sony count the infamous oh Virtual Boy released by Nintendo this jump over was two garbage. decades ago, Sony has been the first console manufacturer to put out a virtual reality headset thanks to the PlayStation VR. It was released in October of 2016, and it has proven to be quite a success for the Japanese tech giant. Yeah, but with over the thing with VR is the only good game, like, VR is As only good for scary games. The AMD APU, which is like probably the card games, the but is being if I ever get a VR, I really want to play fucking Thus, scary game, like man. I'm not trying to play VR Batman or VR reality. Final Fantasy the XV, bro. VR that be already <laughs> lacks behind its competition, though since it only features one Full HD display for both eyes, while with HTC Vive and Oculus Rift, each eye gets its yeah, but the PS4, by 12 PS4, pixel uh, display. P so the PlayStation PS4 VR is has, likely to get has 400, with I think HTC is like what, 600, we'll 700? Black box as well. And I think the other one is the same as same price, man. I'm gonna find... Whoever did this. And I'm gonna kill. Ah. Yo, I can't wait for this game to come out, bruh. This video has been packed with information, so let's sum it all up. It can be said with certainty that Sony is working on a PS5, which should be unveiled sometime before fall of 2019. In addition to the next generation console, we are also likely to see an updated VR headset with high resolution displays. In the console itself, hey. we'll probably find an AMD APU 5 times more powerful than the one in PS4, accompanied by 16 or 32 gigs of fast RAM, as well as an optical drive, and we hope that all of this will be packed in one fancy looking black box gamers will be proud to show off in their oh, living no. places is gonna be so, high. What do you think about the PlayStation 5 and the future of video game consoles? Make sure to leave a comment down below and like, subscribe and share the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Um, what I think about uh, PS5, listen, I used to be a huge Xbox fan, Microsoft fan, but since I um, switched over to the PS4, and Sony, man, I never been happy, man. Even though, like, I, I could be more happier. It's just I don't have the money to buy all the games that comes out. But the games I do have that play that I have played so far for the PS4, I am like astonished how good and how good the Sony is. How, I mean, I've been missing out on the PlayStation 2 and the PS1. You know what I mean? But I am happy that I got a PS4 and I still don't have the Xbox because for me. PS4 has so many good games. That's all it at the end of the day when you buy a console, man, it's just a game that you love to play, that you enjoy, and 
especially in one of a variety of games you know what i mean with the ps4 i feel like you get so many variety games you get shooting racing action you get strategy games you get so many different type of japanese games you know what i mean so many different variety games you can get on just sony you cannot get it anywhere else just in sony so i feel like with sony they should take their time man no need to rush there are they're fucking destroying xbox and don't even talk about nintendo nintendo is not even close to ch touching sony not even microsoft ps sony is destroying this generation there's no need to rush to bring out the playstation 5 take your time man six seven eight years you know what i mean if you want to wait eight years that's fine you know just keep coming out with good games man god of war is coming out uh last of us 2 is coming out uh what is that game called uh fuck i forgot the name of that game uh Spider-Man's coming out, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out, so so many good games are coming out for the PlayStation 4, I feel like there's no need to rush, but if they're going to rush this, not rush it, but if they're going to come out soon, I feel like it's going to come out in 2020 or 2019, like I said, but I feel like it's going to come out 2020, and they're going to just blow us out, man, like they did with the PS4, man, and I just can't wait, man, I really can't wait for the PS5 comes up, but I want to enjoy my time with PS4, man, I'm enjoying uh, my time with PS4, but once I get more money, once I have a job, I'm going to buy, start buying games for that, uh, more good games, because I haven't played, there's so many games I, I haven't played for the PS4, it's just, I don't, I just don't have the money to play that game, you feel me, but anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think, if you guys enjoyed my video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share. And the king will see you next time. Peace.